Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our second video on our series on creating a basement. And in this video, what I like to do is uh, start drawing the walls out of the basement. And before we do that, we're going to go under the assumption that the first floor has already been drawn, and we're going to use some geometry from the first floor in order to draw stuff in the basement. Uh, part of the assumption here is, we're, you know, we're just creating a simple basement. And this may not be correct, necessarily. Uh, what we're going to be doing, instead of the usual three elements you would have with the structure of the house, and the structure of the house would start with the, uh, you know, with the foundation, and the basement would certainly be relevant for that, is that uh, we're going to be just be doing two elements in the basement, instead of the usual three. The three elements would include like a footing. On top of the footing would be the stem wall or the basement walls. And then on top of the footing would also be a slab that would serve as a floor of the basement. The slab isn't structural but it does serve as a floor, but the footing and the stem walls are structural and carry the load of the house. So for the simple model, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a floor and assume that the floor and the footing are going to do the same thing. And it can be in some respects, but uh, for the simple model, that's the way we're going to draw it. So we already have our levels drawn. We have our basement and first floor levels and our second floor level. We're going to go to the first floor and start, uh, start modeling the first floor. There are some floors I want to borrow from another model, so I'm going to go ahead and press the Control Tab key. And there's our levels in the, on that model. I'm going to go borrow these walls from this model, both our interior wall and my custom exterior wall. The custom exterior wall you're going to borrow from your own design. And go to Control-C for copy. Control-Tab takes us back to our model again. Go to Control-V. And sure, sure, I'll save the project. And then uh, it, what it does is it drops it into place in some arbitrary location. But if you want to control where it's going to go, and I want to kind of pull it off to the side over here, I can move my cursor over here and then just drop it into place. Take those walls or delete them. What it does is it puts it into our library within our file only, not the Revit library necessarily. And now we're going to model on the first floor. So let's do this. Let's go to the wall button. I'm going to scroll up and take uh, borrow my wall. Should be in the top of the tree. It's my exterior, seven and an eighth of an inch of wall with a clapboard siding. And I'm going to go ahead and draw this out. So remember, we want to draw everything uh, clockwise. If we go counterclockwise, we're going to have to be careful with that and reverse our walls later. And it's already going at about 64 feet. We're going to go out about 25 feet. And you notice that the resolution now has changed. We're much further away than we usually are. So the resolution now is in uh, four foot units rather than one foot and and half foot units that we've seen before. But if we scoot in a little bit with our mouse, now we can go back to the resolution that we're used to. So remember, as you as you scroll out, if you're looking at a much bigger picture, the resolution also gets bigger. So we're going to draw a wall out about 25 feet. And this wall up, pick up that uh, polar, uh, polar tracking, and complete our walls. Now you notice that our walls, the inside of our walls are outside, so on and so forth. So for demonstration, I did that. We're going to go ahead and reverse those by putting those arrows on the outside. And now we should have our wall. Now, we're looking at a resolution, uh, at a screen re a resolution here where our walls are just represented by the interior and the exterior line. But we can get better resolution there if we go to medium or fine on our walls. And if you take our um, scale, and revert that baby to a one-to-one -one scale. And if you scoot in, you can actually see the components of the wall. So here's our side in that first uh, section of lines. The section sandwich of lines there is uh, the sheathing, followed by the structure of the wall, which is a five and a half inch uh, stud. And then the inside of the wall, which is drywall. What we like to do is we like to draw that basement wall collinear, coplanar, with this wall it represents the the you know the very edge of the core face exterior of our wall on our first floor. So let's do this. Let's uh, select our walls. Make sure that we are not on wall center line, but are on the core face exterior, like we usually draw. That changes it just a little bit, but we don't have dimensions on that, and we're going to save those dimensions for the next film, and then continue on.